You can do a reset at any point in time. You don't need to wait for a new year or a new month or a new week in order to have a fresh start. Sometimes there are signs that your life is in need of a reset. It might be helpful to write down a list of your personal triggers so that you can be more aware of what to look out for. I'm going to read out a list of potential triggers and if you've been feeling any of these, it's okay. Just remember that the most important thing is to be self-compassionate and understanding of the fact that not every moment or day or month can be ideal and there's inevitably gonna be rough times. You can use this list as a gentle reminder to reflect and choose to start making little steps in the right direction. Here are the things you might notice about yourself that might be a trigger that you're needing a reset. I've noticed myself getting overwhelmed with everything I have to do. My space has started to get unorganized and out of hand. I'm feeling unmotivated and not sure what to do with my time. I'm not happy with what I spend time doing throughout the day. I've noticed myself avoiding healthy habits like getting enough sleep, eating nutritious food and exercising. My to-do list or goals make me feel negative rather than positive. There's no need to judge yourself for feeling any of these things. It's okay to feel unorganized or that you're not spending your time with intention. It's going to happen and that's okay. It's just about becoming conscious of it and being aware of it and observing yourself objectively. I've created a life reset template in Notion that can help you to feel more grounded and on top of things and get you back to the way you're wanting to feel. And then once you notice that maybe my space is becoming a little unorganized or I've fallen off my healthy routines, maybe it's time for a life reset. I also have a few videos about bouncing back and when you've fallen off the wagon from your healthy routines. I'll leave those linked in the description below. In regards to feeling negative about your goals rather than positive, I'm actually building a Notion template that's all about approaching goal setting differently and I'm really excited to share it with you. Let me know if you have any specific problems or challenges that you're facing with goal setting as I'd love to include solutions in my template. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.